What's going on? What is up? It is your boy FC Neo Tokyo, and I am here once again with My Heart and Fuego, episode 15. So, if you've missed the last couple episodes or the whole dang thing, what is My Heart and Fuego? This is where I take control of Chicago Fire and just to try to do something. Um, cup competition's going well. That's about it. We keep plummeting in the standings in the league. And we used to have games in hand on people. I think I'm squandering that. Things are bad. But the Impact are coming to town. And they're in 7th, but I doubt that they'll be there at the end of the season. So let's hopefully get some kind of a W. I think we're going to trot out a, whole, a, a first team 11. I don't care how tired they are. I'm trotting them out. Because <sighs> we need the win. We need it. We need the points. We cannot, like, a draw is not good enough anymore. We need a W. <sighs> so welcome back. Thanks for coming. Let's try and relax here. I know I'm already tense. I know. The last two episodes were real bad. The last episode we got stomped by Atlanta. It was really bad. 6-2. to two. If not, maybe worse than that. That's all I remember at the moment. Rather dramatic. We should have a fine game for you today. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith is with me. Welcome to you all. We have for you Chicago Fire against Montreal Impact. Alan Smith alongside me. Uh, tell me about Chicago Fire as you see them. Well, given the run that they've had over the last few games, there's been a lot of work for the manager to do on the training ground. And it'll be interesting to see if he achieves any results out here. A couple of exceptional talents in a really good game. Oof. We might be focusing on. Well, two excellent they were players. they were kind. They were kind to your boy. Really good seasons, and I'm they didn't roast me too bad. I don't know if y'all remember, but way way back, back in the days of Fox Soccer Channel. <laughs> I would watch anything I get my hands on. I remember as a USL team, the Montreal Impact made a deep run into uh, Champions League, or uh, uh, yeah, Concacaf Champions League, and they ended up playing, I think, in the Expos Old Dome, maybe not, but wherever it was, it was like a baseball stand. It was, it was crazy. I just remember it. I miss televised Champions League. I wish. The North American Champions League was taken more seriously. I mean, I guess this is another thing for me to be mad that the Fire aren't ever going to do. <laughs> Look at this. Brand new stadium downtown. See everybody? I feel good about this. Piatti is a problem, but I feel good about this. I think I got this. And here we are at the start of the match. Why? Why? I literally wanted him to pass it back to Lillard, and he just. He tried to. Oh, frustration already. We're just giving up shots. Who cares? No bother. No worries. We're not worried. The last game I was all tense and angry and like a giant freaking salt lick, but not today. I feel okay. That is steered through. <laughs> uh, my passing could improve. It's been bad. I had good passing at the beginning of the season, and now teams have figured out my triangles. Teams have figured me out. They know I like to go around the horn. There we go. Let's just go. Oh, come on, Polster. No wonder you don't have a contract from Rangers yet. <laughs> See how well this age is. Ah, uh, anyway. I don't know, man. I actually... I didn't have a bad day today. Your boy uh, is actually in a good mood. I don't have any kind of topics, anything on my mind. I'm not nothing to complain about. 
I'm just here playing FIFA, actually, having a good time. Well, trying to have a good time. It's an excellent cross. Defended well. I got to listen to the MLS draft today. Um, the Fire got a bunch of money, which I'm not against. I actually don't want my team to make picks in the draft. The draft should really be for USL teams on the for real. But it looks like we got a Polish winger. I don't know. You know, like... The only thing I'll say is the last guy they got who played in Pol Poland turned out to be pretty good. I thought the Polish league was garbage. I did not know there was talent to be had there. So, if he's good, he's good. Oh, come on. Oh, thank, thank, thankfully, he skied that. Oh. Thank you. Atlanta pressed the crap out of me. And I had no answers for it. <laughs> Got to Tight against the touchline. It pretty clear that it was going to end up with a throw in. Got Supporting player alongside. Ooh, see, I liked the creativity there. I liked what we were doing. Oh, Bastian Schweinsteiger was about to, he just he did anyway. I was about to say, Schweinsteiger was about to get his pocket picked. It has dawned on me that he's done. He's really done. I was trying to, like, even though it's a video game, I was going to be like, oh, you know, you don't you don't transfer a guy like Schweinsteiger like that. You, you let him finish out the year. He might retire, yada, yada. Nope. Nope, I'm getting money for him. I want whatever I can get out of him. Send him back to Germany. I'm sure Wolfsburg could could Schmeister. use you. Man, what what do you do like that? Like, well, I, I guess he would go to China probably at this point. I don't know. He's really enjoying life in Chicago. No pressure to win whatsoever. <laughs> No worry about playing time. Doesn't even need to run in the midfield. Just hang out in the defense. Why not? Screw it. It's not like we're paying any, any money. <laughs> in a salary cap league. <sighs> I don't know why I care. I actually, like, for years have never... Like, and I, I, I don't... This is too literal. Like, there's one or two. But, like, for years I have not liked a single player on the team. For years, I've hated the coaching decisions and the coaches themselves. Oh, my. Dax McCarty with, A, a good shot, but, B, he was taken down from behind. Point to the spot. Point to the spot, please. See? Oh. I thought that was possibly dangerous. Mm. Well, in this day and age, always risky going to ground like that, and some refs will uh, think that he was not in control of his actions. Well, if he can score and get his team ahead, that's going to be some platform to win this match. All right, now, Bastion, I just talked a bunch of crap. I said I'm moving you in the in the transfer window. Prove me wrong. <laughs> oh God, I never can do these well. Ooh. He anticipated the direction of the free kick. I wanted it. Well. Oh, that's not the... I wanted... I... <laughs> never gonna... Never gonna go pro in FIFA. Never. Never around here. Tighter. Your boy can't even turn in the correct direction he wants to go. It's okay, though. I just play and I have fun. You know, like, if talking to talking to the camera is way more fun than being in my own head and being, like, grilling my own self about, <laughs> like, I'm on ESPN, like, losing game after game. Now you can all enjoy losing game after game with me. Although we're not losing this game. We're going to win it. good contact on the ball. We don't need to see that again. This has been a rather uneventful game so far, which is okay. That's better than being down. 
and needing to dig myself out of a hole. Oh, oh, oh. We Salvo got them wheels. Ugh. You don't got that cross, though. Does not have that cross. It's all right. It's all right. He was a free agent. So yeah. Yeah. I just seeing it again on replay just upsets me. Some options now for the pass. Got the opposition back pedaling a little bit. Yeah, the yeah, we, yeah. Oh. Thank, thank everything that Cleveland well, saved that because he had position on me. Decided to take a short corner this time. Yep, push him out, push him out. There we go. Run! Oh. Go, 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 Katai. Oh, why did he watch it so long? These players aren't good at soccer. And it's okay. Not everybody is amazing. I mean... I, know the supporters are going to try and do their I don't know, man. The, home team today. the world needs Brad Evans, too, I guess. I don't know. Not Brad Evans. Who? Is, yeah. Yes, Brad Evans. Oh, my God. I don't know why I have a natural obsession with players who can play literally anywhere. Like, um, I know I he's kind of a piece of shit, but I know Jeff Cameron, when he was in Houston, played anywhere from midfield to defense to striker once or twice. And, like, freaking um, Brad Evans has played everywhere. Like, I love players who can play just anywhere. Trying to catch the opposition out with a short corner. Going forward well. He's got his shot off now. I like guys who make transitions in their career, like Mark Demarcus Beasley, <laughs> into a they slide on back into the defensive role. I guess who else did that recently, Zuzi? Um, I mean, every every what pacey winger on the planet does that when they lose a step, but still, it's fun. Again, my my soccer watching years haven't been as like I always liked the game of soccer and played it when I was younger, but um. My here. watching of professional stuff did not. It started in like 2000 ish and dropped and was very spotty until 2006. No, yes, yeah, until 2006. Is he going to be an in swinger or an out swinger? He can deliver these with both feet. Whips it in. Psylocke got really into watching the Premier League a couple years back. <laughs> and we were just sitting there and we were talking about her little run of like she caught a game like one or two games every weekend and I was just like we're never going to see Le like a team like Leicester City again we are never going to see that again like there's no way a team of a ragtag group like that of like soon to be amazing or like you know, passed over guys win the Premier League, or or even like Germany or um, France, or even why would you make that run, Nemanja? Gee, many God, God, dot. Anyway, we're never gonna see a team like Leicester City again. Never, absolutely never. That was a very special thing to see in the live through. <laughs> Damn. Polster went down hard. That's into the gloves of the goalkeeper. Not the hardest. Thing. So it's half time and we're still waiting for that first goal. It's alright. It's alright. Strong half. We can go down. Steady at best that's, in the first 45 minutes. Still 45 minutes to go, of course. That's a big plus for us. We've had a rough couple of games. But you gotta beat teams like the Impact if you uh plan on making the playoffs which at six losses already at the of the match. that's in that's in jeopardy <laughs> I just need to get to the transfer window 
and then all will be solved. So the referee's happy. The players Not everything, but next away. season will be awesome. <laughs> I tell you, there are the so many guys who are like, I could sign to a pre-contract for next season. But I don't want to do that because I want to like have a couple. I want to have some fun this season. <laughs> Maybe I'll trade the first round of the Super Draft and shake up the soccer world. I'm sorry. This is, this, I told people I wasn't around to complain, and then I started being real snarky about Nelson Rodriguez. That dude is... That dude is... You look up disingenuous in the dictionary, and Nelson Rodriguez's picture is right there, front and center. Smudge. Oh no! Good tie! Ah! I don't remember Katai having a man bun, by the way. I don't know, maybe he does. I just can't believe Katai just screwed that up. I'm hurt. But anyway, a lot of this stuff I talk about, I, I realize if you're not a huge Major League Soccer fan or a fan of the Chicago Fire, even in particular, you're probably bored to tears. But, you know, I'm just, I'm playing FIFA and hanging out. I'm just talking about what's on my mind. I don't really watch a lot of world soccer. And, like, that stemmed from, like, just a mixture between time zones and, like, a team I... Like, I'm that guy who... You know, living in Illinois, I'm gonna it's like the, the Cubs and the Bears and the going. Fire and um, who's the other ones? The I don't know. Team. I don't watch hockey. The ugh. I don't really. How? Do, you know, I I'm I don't know how the Chicago's hockey team continues to get away with having just a big giant. Oh my God! Oof. Aww, I miss Quincy Ameriqua. I really like Quincy Ameriqua. He would have been awesome on a decent team coming in as a second striker. Wait, did they just announce a winner of a raffle in the stadium? <laughs> That's incredible. Looking for teammates in the middle. Oh man, they are starting to roast Corrales and Lillard over here. Something smells burnt in this place. And they've spread it out wide here. Now the possibility for a cross. What? They pressed well to Just continually getting my pocket picked. Continual. Nope, nope, nope. What we get to see, of course, the assistants don't. Whether that will change yeah. down the years. They I'm really want sure, me to give Hassler anyway, some minutes. He probably got a lot of minutes in real life. I don't know. I didn't watch him this year. Or, well, last year. Go, 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 Corrales. You know, most teams give me the outside because I have no height, I have no crossing or anything. So I just thought this game, I'd just go with it. Screw it. Let's burn them. Maybe I do, but I don't. It hasn't worked. I was a little disappointed at that effort out of Delu. I expected a tad bit more. Oh, too heavy. Man, I wish I would have hit him in stride. Damn. Can you believe that Didier Drogba played in the third division of American soccer at one point? And he shaved his head? It was like Bizarro World. Like, I wish... I'm just saddened. You know, like, I was talking the other night about Freddie Adu, and I was like, just as soon as I was like, holy crap, there's a team in Indianapolis. I'm going to go see Freddie Adu play soccer. Then, like, he no longer was playing with Tampa Bay. Or, like, the ND the NASL didn't exist. Like, wh like where is Freddie Adu right now? 
word. But anyway. Didier Drogba played in Phoenix, Arizona for a team. God knows how many people came out to watch him. Ah, that was a bad ball. Of course it was a bad ball. Of course. Oh! Quincy, no! They set it up well for the cross. Bastian Schweinsteiger. Trying to find an opening. Not panicking. Nobody's panicking. Well, they keep moving the ball here. The shot's on. Goal! Oh, it's an offside decision. No! Rusalvo! Right decision. Well, this must have been very tight indeed, but we get the advantage of mm. the officials, of course, don't. Mm. Close call, but the defense I'm disappointed in that one. Caught the lad offside, although he took it away well. Shots on here. Ooh. I know we can test the keeper now. Let's just let's let's up up the ante a little. Dude, they are giving me a whole big section of the park here. Ugh. It's Schweinsteiger. No, no, get there, get there, Swiney. There you go. Ah, oh, come on, Georgie. Yeah, play your kids, play your kids. Okay. I can't be mad at Mo Adams for, you know, dropping. A point, but uh, play the kids. They're never gonna get any better if you don't play them. Strong challenge. Which I wish FIFA would let the kids get better, better, like easier. Like Anticipated the direction of the I remember to I took intervene. Carbon Bone. Who? Congratulations, Carbon Bone. You're about to be playing in Major League Soccer in um, Cincinnati again. But I took that player, and I don't know why, but it was just one of those things where, like, everything clicked with how the way I played the game with, like, what I did. And, like, I was just – I scored, like, double-digit goals three seasons in a row with him and, like, was doing a bunch of stuff. But, yeah, Georgie! Yeah! The kid is all right. The kid is all right. Now nah, we'll put Edwards in. Mmm, beautiful. <laughs> See, like, like, like Mahalovic. He's still a 62. I've scored four goals for the first team. Like, see, my central attacking midfielders always score. That's why Carbon Bone was scoring. And don't ask why he was a central attacking midfielder at that time. It was a strange time in the Chicago Fire's life cycle. I had him playing next to Alex, actually. Anyway, I think. Maybe not. Maybe that was jumbled years. Anyway. It's... But it's a while since we've had a goal. You know, it's with that really logic, a like, if a kid's blown up, he should be able to blow up. You know, like, Mbappe blew up. I mean, I'm not trying to say Georgi Mihaljevic should get, you know, rated like 80, some 87 or something like Mbappe. But I am saying, you know, let him let him beef up. Like, if I play him like he's a boss, then give me a 72 or something. And not over one season, but just go from 62 to 66, 67. And then if I do better next season with him, let him go up to a 70 or something. And then he, he can really earn a starting position or really break in and stuff. And I don't just 
and it's not just always signing the players that I like. Because if you play FIFA long enough, oh, he's an offside. Ooh, okay, we need to put Mo in. This is going to be a change here for the team that is leading, and it's clearly a tactical one to try and cement that winning position. See, now that's another one. I've given a ton of minutes to Mo, Adu Mo not Mo Adu, Mo Adams. And um, I bet he doesn't get a very big increase in his stats, Yassi. which he should, because I'm giving him some serious he minutes, and he's not playing too bad. He cost us one game. What, one game? You can't live with one game? I can. I can. I can live with one game. I'm not mad at him. But see, that's like the whole reason why I'm not giving any minutes to Campos. Or wait, is it Campos or Vicaro who are, who's still on the team? I don't remember. But I'm not giving any minutes to them because I need to spread that minutes around to guys who are actually playing or can play. Oh, crap. Look at Corrales. He's got to be my next sub. Damn. See, I feel bad. I wanted to get Edwards some minutes. Couldn't make it happen. Well, this attack got a bit of menace to it. Nope. <laughs> yeah, see, and this is another thing. Like, Lillard is rated right a 63 and Campbell is 65. And, and through the play, the and through their play, Lillard has won the spot. So I expect his ratings to start going up. The uh, attackers did their job to win the game, but the, the result was saved and protected by... Defending of the highest class. I really needed this. <laughs> I really needed these three points. I really needed this confidence booster after that Atlanta game. I oh, oh my God! Didn't even talk about this. I gave Cleveland the start. I was gonna bench him. I totally forgot, and I stuck with him to show him confidence. And look, he came up with two or three really big saves actually, which I am gonna I. Personally, with how bad the keepers are for the Chicago Fire and the fact that Cleveland's been steady, I'm going to feel bad the fact that I'm going to kick him to the curb the first chance I get, the, the first day this transfer window opens. But that's the life of a footballer. Man, I really, I actually feel really good about that one. I feel good about that game. I feel good about what we did. Hopefully, I don't have a midweek game because I'm, I'm my my roster is thin. But man, I feel good. I oh, that was a midweek game. No, <laughs> uh, all right. Anyway, I feel good. If you all feel good and had just as much fun as me, give it a like, leave a comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, man. FC Neo Tokyo over on Twitch. FC Neo Tokyo right here on YouTube. New videos every Monday. Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. <laughs> Come hang out with your boy. Peace.